Dale here. This is an installation today of the Project EV 7.3 kilowatt EV charger. It's the Pro Earth model, so we don't need to be installing any uh, earth electrode at this property. It's a PME earthing system, which would have caused us major problems with earthing arrangements had we not selected the Pro Earth. Let's have a look what we've got in the box. Okay. Inside the box, we've opened it and we've got the charger unit itself. That's the RFID model, the mounting plate, fixing screws and anchors, and the instruction book with serial number. One of the most disappointing things I think is probably it's only got a uh, bottom entry for a cable import. There's no back entry into this particular model. It would have been nice just to come straight into the back as the consumer unit itself is only the other side of the wall, but we'll have to deal with that. Okay, we've drilled the four holes using the plate provided. Um, we're not going to use their plugs because they're generally of a cheap quality. We prefer our own raw plugs and uh, get that plate mounted on now. Okay, that's the plate on the wall now. We've used slightly better fixings, like I said. Um, generally speaking, manufacturers provide you with rubbish, so that's nice and straight. Uh, I'm going to put this actually on now and then work out where the cable is going to enter inside the property we've made some measurements from inside so we know roughly where we're going to be we'll get that on drilled through and see where we are from there okay that's the ev charger now fixed onto the base plate it's retained by two screws one here and you can probably see just under here is the second screw just behind this uh, rather large grommet we're going to use some pvc flex six millimeter squared um, and we're going to not come straightly in here we wanted to just create a bit of a loop a drip loop for any rain that may run onto this cable and drip off so we're going to draw drill through about here um 20 mil holes straight through might put a bit of conduit through just to um, protect the cavity itself so we'll get that drilled through next and see how we get on okay that's our hole drilled it's uh, enough to carry now a piece of conduit through from the inside to the outside and we'll take our flex through okay the conduits through the wall which makes it nice and easy now to pass this six millimeter flex through um, i could have used four mil uh, happy to use four but i've just got this laying on the on the truck so uh, we'll get this installed now and connect it up we'll take the side access panel off here there's four screws and we'll take them off and uh, get it coupled up